What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back again. As I said yesterday, we were going to test out this new stuff I got with the mount. Of course, I've tier 2'd up the mount and I got the soldier's hooves on the mount in yesterday's video. So, I haven't done Battle Royale a whole lot. Of course, I hardly ever get a chance to get in here and do them. So, we're going to test this out. Um, I'm on my 4G LTE right now, so I'm not sure how good the lag is going to be. Uh, but we're going to try it out. And we're going to test the damage. Mainly, I want to see what the damage is doing to the PvE portion of this map. You know, the Warmongers and the main boss. We have somebody coming up right here. Um, missing and 3.2 million damage. Okay, so I'm roughly getting, what, another 800,000 more damage towards an, a player already. Just from upgrading to tier 2 and that one piece, the Soldier's Hoofs, that I did yesterday. And let's go over here and let's see what's hopping. Now, also, guys, I did figure out the PvP map here, Battle Royale. It is divided up into sections, okay? You have three portions at the top, three in the middle, and three at the bottom. So be careful running into these sections. As you can see here, there's a lot going on right here. And there's a lot of lag when you go into these new sections. It loads these sections as you go into them. So there's nine different portions of the map that are going to have a chance to load. And a little trick right here, I'm taking quite a bit of damage right here coming up. Unmount and get out. It does not matter if you die as long as you keep your mount alive because it's going to take six minutes for it to come back. And you see unmount, run. I'm going to die. Oh well. I still got a little bit of life on my mount and if I'm with the right people that know what they're doing they're gonna use those ice turtles to help get that mount heal back up it's not gonna take too many heals from an ice turtle to heal that mount back up so that's one little trick or tip you can use um, it was told to me by someone in the comments uh, I'd have to go back and look uh, thank you for telling me how that works and we're gonna go back up here and let's see what we can't get into uh, test some of this damage um, mainly looking forward to the boss in this portion because at the tier one mount it was very difficult to hit the boss and I've got a lot more hit rating now on the mount so I'm very curious to see what it's gonna do as far as damage wise for me being able to hit this mount not the mount the boss now also we're going to cut in and we're going to of course take out the warmonger because that is where you can get a piece of a stardust you can get two of them in each battle royale uh, one spawns in the it be the northwest corner and the other in the southeast corner at different times throughout the match and it will tell you when they spawn and let's see if we can't get some damage going here find out okay i'm doing 2.5 to roughly 3.2 million damage to to other players so the damage has increased okay we got a heal off from somebody using an ice turtle as you can see there it was uh 207,000 hit point heal that's not bad considering the mounts really they have a little over 2.5 million so just a few hills off of that and you're good to go now if you coordinate with your team you can stay up pretty quick with these guys and this is it right here we jump right into it this is a warmonger in the southeast portion of the map uh, we let someone with a mount take aggro as you can tell mine is down right now for about another 70 seconds and I'm not doing a whole lot of damage, but there's that Stardust right there. We're going to pick that up. And we're looking close to eight minutes left. So the big boss in the middle should be spawning very, very soon. And that's what I'm looking forward to going to test out. I'm going to shoot that up through there. And I like playing around with Captain Sam when the mount is down. I mean, that's the range. Uh, technically, if you don't have a mount, you you really don't have any chance and is he up yet no he is not you will be able to tell when he is up because the bar will pop up in the middle of the screen uh, it pops up big bright red you can't miss it um it's kind of a lopsided fight here i'm not really concerned about getting kills on anyone else 
So we're just testing out damage and I'm also going to show you how quickly a mount can take damage at tier 2 as well coming very soon. Gonna use Neza right there to kind of help out those guys on those mounts and all these NPCs around us died pretty quick. Gonna go down here and try to help these guys out, get some of this down. Points are points, it doesn't matter who gets them and we're looking close to seven minutes. We're going to see exactly when he spawns and he spawned at 708. Here he is, 99% he is there. All right, we're gonna start attacking and already I'm doing way more damage and I'm hitting him way more often than I have been with a tier one mount. Now I don't want him to constantly beat on me so I'm gonna move around a little bit. It looks like he does have a little bit of aggro on me. I missed with that first ability there and it's doing a lot more damage as well. And we're just going to continue and whittle down at his health. Gonna get in, use that one ability. Two million damage almost from that one ability. That is not bad. And he's dropping pretty quick. We have a lot of guys with mounts in this battle royale. And this is a huge, huge upgrade from tier one to tier two guys. As you can tell, I'm doing a lot more damage to NPCs and I'm able to hit them a lot easier. That hit rating has helped out a lot and it is kind of nice because you're not just hoping and poking and wishing that you're doing some damage to this guy. We're actually doing fairly well. Got him down to almost 60% and I'm going to stay closer to this right side just in case some of the guys start trying to pour in. That way we can take them out. And it's just a strategy I like using. Uh, everybody plays a little different, but look at all the Captain Sam's poking around. These guys love these things. It's range. When they're not using their mounts, they can just sit back and do damage. That's another good thing to use in Battle Royale, of course, is Captain Sam. I would also recommend using Ice Turtle, Neza, uh, Neza if you want to keep the shield. And we got somebody coming in here, so we're going to go over and bam 4.6 million damage off of that one move that is crazy that is one of the only times i've gotten close enough to use that move on another player but that is some crazy damage and we're doing consistent 1.1 to 1.5 million damage to these other guys missed right there now i have noticed some guys are bugging out you know it looks like they still have hit points and just like right here the guy's still there until he finally disappears. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Now, this is what else I wanted to show you guys. How fast can a tier two mount still die even after you've leveled him up? Now, my mount is level 12 right now. And as you can see, I'm gonna creep up this right side right here. And I wanted what I was gonna try to do is I was gonna see if I could not just get in visual range of some of these guys and take them out and let's get rid of these guys right here go up okay i've got i can see quite a few right here now technically they're going to be able to hit me from there but i as you can tell it's just going dancing around me i'm not able to hit them so i'm going to move up a little bit closer after this refreshes one and right here and watch how fast this goes down dead that quick that is still how fast you can die with a tier two mount. It does not matter uh, from the damage that I was taking, as you can tell, it was probably someone with a tier two mount as well. But guys, that is going to be it for this videos. Any comments, leave them, of course. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.